Welcome, everybody, to a new episode of the Two Sides of a Coin podcast, particularly episode 148. I'm one of your hosts, Frank, a.k.a. what you guys like to call me, not me, and I hope one day you change it, uh, Beld, wow. you know, of course, with the usual squad, crew, uh, hosts, my brothers. Was that you, bro? No. You shoot yourself? No. Damn, I started it off early. Huh? That was the fr- that was the ice in the oh, fridge. Right. I think mm. ice maker. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna blame me, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, to my right is Triple D, <laughs> Helicopter Man himself, <laughs> Delion, <laughs> with the small babies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the shoe fit, I'll take it. Damn. That boy be flying, boy. No. Max, he said the small peepee song over here. Oh. He's saying if the shoe fits, he'll take it. It's okay. true. It's true. If it's not, it's not. And honestly, it's about perspective, right? Like, what really deems a small? I think, uh, I think a lot of people know what makes it small. And I'll tell you, man. So <laughs> No, it's like art. You look at art, one person deems it one thing, the other another. I it's don't all think. About, it's all about perspective. It's all about relativity. All relativity. Angles are important. Um, uh, hydration is important. I think um, whether measure- the lights are on or off is important. Weather. We- you know, the weather. Who's the president? Like, whether it's Democrat or Republican, that also makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Um, who just I, won the last Super Bowl is very important. That's my I, explanation. I think, like, scientifically, measurement is, like, not something that you could question. It's negotiable if you... Um, <laughs> okay. If, but if, what if, is really based- measurement? Yeah. Right, it's all perspective. What you <laughs> deem as long as short. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to different. <laughs> uh, of course, last but not least, the person with the expertise mm-hmm. uh, in correcting us is we all love him. He's a superstar of the show. No, the dirtiest man you want to know. He is the Kama Sutra Don. Might wear a thong. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Cherry red. Absolutely not. B Rod, B Rod, Rod Top McGraw from the East, West, South, and North joining us again. Say hi to all your wonderful fans, Brian. I don't have any fans. What do you mean? You're the only reason why these lights are still on, bro. Mm -hmm. Why these lights are still on? Yes. I mean, he doesn't pay the bill here. (laughs) You're the reason why we still got this show running because, like, without you. We don't get a check, man. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I don't think we get checks. Yeah, well, shout out Who to got- all the well. Remember, shout out to all the fans that uh, okay. subscribed to ba- uh, Bang Bros and took advantage of your promo code last week. Yeah, um, shout out How to all m- of them. Was the traffic up high in Bang Bros? And shut down the website. Shut down the website. Forty-eight hours. I mean, with freaking thirty million followers, who wouldn't, right, guys? It was forty. Forty million followers. My bad. I, you know, one day changes so many things in our. You know, profession, but who counts anymore? Damn, that's that's Brian North numbers. Who's Brian North? Oh lord! (laughs) 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 Uh, uh, But yeah, just to jump off with Delsa, thank you for everyone who does listen every week, of course, and uh, watches the show when you can. Uh, we do appreciate the support and the love as always. Uh, And of course, what is this? Our third week straight. Fellas, yeah, second? we're three for three. Three for three? Yes, sir. Whoa, what what got into us? I guess you can't call us this anymore. <coughs> and that's, no, for, no. that's the cue for all the people who want to see what I'm talking about. Head over to YouTube and follow Two Sides of a Coin podcast. Because <laughs> it's there. <laughs> There's not a lot of things I hate more than what he just did. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unnatural with it. This one right here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dels, tell them where you can find us. I haven't asked you that yet. But it's... you can. Go ahead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yo, all right, episode 140. Uh, so we like to always start the episodes with what we've been up to since the last episode. So, who wants to go ahead and give it a shot this week? Brian went last week, so. Okay. I could go first if you guys want. Yeah, go first. Let's see. Within the last week, what have I learned? Hmm. Um, 
nothing yet. I'm still very much scared of my neighbors. I was going to see if I got any adult shit that I'm that matured in, but nah. You're uh, scared of your neighbors, you said? <laughs> like, I was going to say if I had any, like, old people, grown man things that happened in my life this past week, but I'm like, nah. Well, we got we 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 got stuck in a trance talking about we were arguing about what's the best laundry detergent to use. Oh my lord! I didn't even think about that. Becky wasn't there for that. <laughs> no, this is not really a big thing about our. Where were y'all at? That I wasn't. This there. is this wasn't a big thing about my, my weekend, but this was de- very much. I invited you. Probably a an eye opener. Um, what day? Huh? Yes. Sir. No, it was yes. Saturday, D. You had the kids. You told us you couldn't. Yeah. You've, you've been had told us you couldn't come out that day. Couldn't say I couldn't come out, but. <sighs> Anyways, it wasn't really a part of my weekend, but Brian brought it up. Of, and it's funny because we legit had like a four people cop. Oh, D's crying. Come on. <laughs> He's about to text group chat B now. Jesus Christ. You said what? He's about to text. What's, what'd you call him? The group chat B? What, what are they called? <laughs> Group uh, friend B. They did it again, guys. Friend group B. That's what you said. Friend group B. They did it again. Say- they hung out without me, guys. They used to do this to me when we were kids. Mom made me go with them. <laughs> they did it again, guys. You guys, this has been haunting me since we were kids. Brian never let me hang out. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we were just saying, Nelson, that we had a conversation about detergent, bro, for like 15 minutes. And so, it was like a well thought out combo of like, which ones are good, which ones down. are bad, what do they do? What's and then the we didn't notice point? till the 15 minutes was up. We was like, yo, fam, did we just have a, a real life deep combo about fucking laundry detergent? So, so and everybody seemed can, can engaged and interested. Since I wasn't invited to hang out with you guys, can I just... <laughs> can I, this is a bitch, man. Can I at least join the conversation? Like, what, what was the result? Oh shit! We were what? just talking about what, what we use this stuff like that. The, what do you guys use? The point. Um, I, I like to use the Arm and Hammer one because it, you get a lot, and it's not that expensive, and it actually makes your your clothes smell good, and it okay. cleans it up pretty good. Okay, so broke boy. Uh, what about you? <laughs> I don't know because I don't wash clothes in my house. So. All right. That's what I'm saying. It was so like a conversation man. amongst them. And then Alexis is like, yeah, I use this. And then Brian and Shanti are like, yeah, we use this. This is good. Uh, whatever. Yeah. But the conversation was that for 15 minutes. And I'm like, fam, I cannot believe we just stood here and had that full-on combo. I literally and- was like, because uh, uh, Alexis was like, yeah, I, I used, one time I was using like the downy, like the liquid downy and the pebbles. And I was like, oh, yo, I bet that smelled so good. Like I was Bro, like, like all amazed by it. I didn't know what the fuck they were saying. <laughs> What? I wish I could have been there. I wish you, I could have you too. Wish you what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about it right now? What What do you use? I was a gain guy. You're a gain guy? But then I, I use I it every once I in a while. I switch sides. You use Tide now? I use Tide now. Tide. 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 Just Tide. The powder or the liquid? Liquid. Liquid. Damn. You know liquid. why? It's because uh, the gain scent, I started being tired of the scent. So gain? I went to. I like gain too. Gain I scent. got tired of the smell. Like well, I used to got... spring is my shit too. So I just God, switched damn, over. Damn, nigga, you spent like how much on a damn guy? Twenty seven. Yeah, and I do. I do uh, um, laundry often. I'm one of those people that like I see the laundry basket full. I'll separate if it's enough for one of those loads. I'll just wash it. Is that because I'll you be got watching TV? Yourself? Well, I go to the gym, so I sweat. And you know, like, and if I wear a shirt to bed, that's it. I went to the gym too. No, no, no. If I wear a shirt to bed, it's worn. I'm not. I already was in it, oh, so I okay. put it in the wash. Some people will wear that shit for like three nights in a row. I won't do that. Yeah. So I wash too much clothes. I you do the same thing? Butt no. ass. Huh? I thought you and Brian slept butt ass. No, I only sleep butt ass when I have um when you're with me. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Who are you talking to? <laughs> you can look it around. <laughs> And, and for those that aren't, <laughs> and for those that aren't watching, and, and maybe didn't get the context clues, I don't sleep naked with my brother. So obviously, there's only one Whoa. other person here. So uh, that's a little bit of wasn't insinuating that, but okay. All right. Well, you asked the questions. I, I provide. <laughs> Anyways, answers. the whole point of the detergent combo was like just noticing how old we were. Yeah. We were like, think about that back in our early twenties. None of us is having a combo about fucking soap. <laughs> we're all sitting there, but like, yeah, who's going out tonight? 
Oh, you mess it with Shorty still. Damn, do you still paying for that? You know, those type of combos we were having. We were that's a good thing that that's, that's never happened. Whatever that was, that's never happened. Which? Me paying for anything. Damn. You never paid for it? Yeah, I'm from Broke Boys United. It's a coalition. Yeah, Want to join? I can't afford that either. So. You can't even join the coalition of Broke can't Boys? can't even join that, no. I'm on uh, Can't Afford Nothing Coalition. Ah, nice. See, there's Broke Boys. You can afford certain things sometimes. I can't afford anything, anytime. Mm, damn. Yeah, it's uh, pretty rough out here. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, all right. So, my actual weekend, now that uh, Brian hit us with the highlight of the, my weekend, was the <laughs> detergent combo. Detergent. Uh, I, oh, Friday, I finally watched the Super Mario movie. I told you guys that. Fire shit. Uh, thought it was great. Loved it. Small from beginning to end. But I, I think it was only because I'm like a Nintendo Mario fanboy already. So, it definitely had all the tropes that I expected it uh brian made a good point and he's like how can they make a second movie with all those like easter eggs and things and i'm like i think they could do it they could definitely do it there was a bunch of things they didn't put in there as well that we discussed yeah. i don't i mean can you really spoil a super mario movie is it like i mean it's like, i don't want to say certain things and feel like no i mean it's, it's i mean plus consider this the movie's kind of old already so. yeah that's true anyways yeah you could put like waluigi wario a bunch of other things you could have did with the movie, like to make another one, and I could see them definitely making more. And I, I think we talked about it that they already, because of the success of that, they're gonna do more uh, Nintendo animated films. Yeah, man. That's so we're awesome. definitely gonna see a Zelda guys. No, that's probably the next one for sure. No doubt about it. It's the next one. <sighs> I don't want that. I don't want it. No, what would no. you want? Uh, reason why I wouldn't want it is because Link hasn't had a voice in the, this entire his Mario history. Either. Of, but I, I Mario no. has, still has more he's, of a voice than Link. He's has. had a voice. Mario, Mario literally says, it's a me and Mario but at he least. he doesn't talk. I know, but he at least voice. he says that. Zelda, Zelda, Link Zelda, doesn't Link say, it's a me, Link. No, he doesn't <laughs> say that, but he definitely has a voice. Yeah, he goes like, Ooh! He, like he gets noise. hurt and shit. And when he screams, when he makes his... You know, his yeah. spinning sword, and he hits you. He does have a voice. I feel like they tried this book. They tried it before with Link, with the animated movie, and it's, like, scary now, bro. The animated movie was ass. You ever I'm seen not, it? No, I never did. Like, no. Good. I even know the crazy name. bad. Good. There's, <laughs> like, a part There's like a part where Zelda's, like, uh, like Zelda, like, just gets to her bed, and he and then Link pulls into the room. He's like, yeah, smooching time. Like, he runs towards her. I swear to God. Sounds terrible. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, like yeah. that's the movie. It's that bad. Like that's what it is on there. So yeah. I'm just saying, like, for no, me, I, it's I just scary. think from the success <laughs> of the video game, especially recently, that's like the next focus. Like it would, it no other Nintendo character would make sense for them to. Do, I see what you mean. To be to be honest, like hype wise, Metroid is there, but not as hyped as it could be. I don't know. It's not gonna... uh, who else? Well, Metroid Donkey has Kong, a girl. sure. Maybe Donkey Kong. Because he got hyped in the movie. A lot of people liked him. But I don't know if you could do one quite yet. Hell yeah, you can. I imagine you put that whole, the, all of them in the jungle, like country, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. And do the Diddy story Kong from there. there. Yeah, the yeah, fucking granny. Yeah. The granny Kong. Like yeah. uh, the grandpa Kong and all that shit. They can make him really funny. They can do yeah. that shit. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Probably right. Yeah. I, I could see a, a Donkey Kong do- movie down the line for sure. Mm-hmm. A few of those probably characters probably down the line. Uh, damn Toad movie somehow. They yeah. had go kart. They had the fucking uh, Mario, Mario Kart, kart movie. in the movie. Yeah. I can see that happening. With Smash it. for sure. Now that was tight. When, yeah, that was actually pretty cool when Donkey Kong and him fought. Mm-hmm. And they one they had like the side scroll type of fight, mm-hmm. and then him doing like some of his moves was so awesome. Yeah. I loved it. I was I, I was like fucking gleefully like I cannot believe they're doing this. Uh, the Mario Kart stuff was great. How they picked out their cars. I thought that was great too. It was just. A, a great movie. I can I can completely understand like for you to hit a movie, make a movie that one makes adults happy, and then two you recapture no not re you capture a entirely new audience with younger kids now That's like Dawson awesome, saying man. the girls loved it when they seen it like mm-hmm. they just Mario just gained two fans that you know they don't have no business gaining being that they're a franchise from right. 1983 right i mean but keep in mind my kids had a whole mario themed party 
So that is like true. Mario too. That's true. So they've already been on that, and yeah. we watched we watched it this that weekend. We watched it this weekend too. Yeah. Yeah. Because I bought it. I bought it on Prime. Yeah. And then I uh, that's how Brian watched it. Yeah, yeah I, I bought it too on uh, not Amazon on Google Play. It was, like you, it was like it was weird. This was this had rent it for twenty five. What the fuck is that? It's the same as the movie theater theory. Like the, like you can what get the, the fuck is that? You get the medium for twelve dollars, right? Yeah. Or you can get the large for thirteen fifty. Yeah. Everybody's gonna pay thirteen fifty and get the large. Yeah, bro. The fucking movie was twenty five dollars to rent and twenty nine to buy. And I'm that like, that doesn't even make any that sense. That doesn't mean I'm definitely buying this one. They, they're making you buy it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't even think, like, logically, like, if you choose, like, if we was to go somewhere and they chose the rent instead of the buy the movie, I'm going to sit there and think you got some mental mm-hmm. problems. Mm-hmm. And we and we buying it, uh, we buying a digital movie that we have to be on their platform to watch, too. Isn't that weird? That we can't buy, like, a DVD. And, like, it's, you can not buy a DVD, but it's not, can. it's not as used as much. Well, you, you, you can stuff. still access them if you didn't have a subscription to that app. Oh, though. you could? Yeah. Yeah. For his and mine, like okay. it being that it's prime. If I don't have prime anymore, I can still go in and watch it. Okay, I was just making sure because thinking about it, like, do you, like I just never had that type of scenario. So that's what we I'm have asking. like four or five movies on there, like Toy Story. Mm-hmm. I have the Frozen movies and shit. Sing, so. cute. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely like the movie. I can see myself watching Fuck more yeah. Nintendo movies coming. Uh, and it's crazy to think like. A company like Nintendo, who is in a space where it's probably the leading, like industry and in, like all entertainment medium right now, meaning video games, uh, there it's at its peak. But like you have a, you have people like Sony who spend billions of dollars to make video games and then charge it at a high price point, and then you have people in Nintendo that make fucking like colored in cartoon characters as video games and they sell crazy amount of money and then now they're in the movie space they're in another mm. stratosphere man it's crazy Nigga, I would've never I'll tell you this I would've never seen a day where they're this hot and Pokemon you, sure but Nintendo as the entire franchise they about, are on flaming think about this right I turned on my Xbox guess who's right there on the front oh Mario movie blah 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 right on there wow, on the Xbox that's fucking think about that that is crazy. Think like really think about that. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. They fucking getting... creeping their way into everything, everything. fucking else. All mediums. Yeah. Wow, man. That's yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> uh so yeah, that was like my highlight of Friday night. That was good. Uh Saturday didn't do shit. Didn't No, what, what did I do? Actually, I went to go to Apple, bro. I didn't know you need an appointment for to yep. go see someone at Apple. Yeah. I could have told like, you. Like I pulled I, up you... in there. I'm like, "Yo, Trying to get my laptop looked at. They're like, oh, yeah, we don't got an appointment until next week. I'm like, bro, I'm standing right here. <laughs> the fuck? the fuck you mean you ain't got the an appointment? Fu- you right here. What you mean? He's like, yeah, ooh, yeah. Pat, next week, Saturday. I'm like, are you shitting me? Was it the tumbleweeds behind them? Yeah. It's like, it's like, somebody behind him's like, yeah, I think I'm going to go home. It's kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. What I think is we're going to wait till next year. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, yep. Yeah. Looking like that, they just got took. I'm standing with you. <laughs> How? Ooh, looks like uh, we just sold you back. Yeah, you gotta go. Security? <laughs> <laughs> nah, so I went in there, whatever. They telling me that I didn't know that. I don't know if that's just that sucks. me and my age and not knowing shit. Probably is that. Uh, so that pissed me off. Whoa. Yeah, it came on your side. Then, check this. Ah, I do got something I learned this week. Ooh. Do not believe professional ranking surveys or any sort of websites <laughs> that rank things and may have some sort of following. I, I think from now on, I'm going to just always choose my opinion over things. reason why I say that. Mm. Went to a Vietnamese restaurant this week, right? A new one. Brand new. Not brand new in the aspect of new in location, but brand new for me. I went there because I've been following the most recent article that came out about the 38 best Orlando restaurants. And I know we've talked about, you know, how Orlando's coming up on the scene. Move it closer a little bit. Uh, hold on. Yeah, you're good now. Is that better now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we talked about how Orlando's coming up in the food scene. So I wanted to see where, like, my palate gauged around someone who's like an actual flu- food blog journalist or whatever for an actual publisher. So I seen the 38. They had a couple of the restaurants we go to. Doma was on there, shit like that. They had one 
uh, Vietnamese spot, only one Vietnamese restaurant. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. The one I go to is not even on here. And that's the one that we talked about that Guy Fieri went to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, had the whole show and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So whatever. I'm like, you know what? Let's try it. Let's go, Alexis. It's close. It's actually by Brian. It's by uh, Suhai. You know the Suhai on Colonial? Yeah. It's literally next door. Um, in Koreatown? Is, little... is that what that's considered? I don't know. No, I always Suhai call it Suhai on Colonial. That's by, by where the DMV used to be, right? DMV? There was a DMV down there? Um, you're talking about Colonial and Alafaya? No, no, no. The the Suhai, uh, Colonial. Oh, up Colonial. Sorry. Yeah, like if the you're other going Suhai. toward downtown. Okay. Like further Yeah, west like little even. Vietnamese town. I don't know what the fuck they call that, bro. Whatever. Mm. Little Asia town. You know, it's fucked up because we, we should have dedicated spaces for them. Like they do. Why? Because they do that in LA and New York, man. You know, That's they got Vietnamese them, town. You got Chinatown. You got Koreatown. You know, Dominicans got the heights. Mm-hmm. Why they don't mm-hmm. call that Dominican town? Because they Dominicans can't, can't even pronounce that. <laughs> you ever heard a Dominican say town? No, no. Yeah, I've That's never why. heard him say town. <laughs> That's right. Well, anyways, so we went to the restaurant, bro. Where we got food there. The food was, uh, it wasn't bad, but the spot that we go to was better. Like it, you just get more bang for your buck. It wasn't that wasn't flavorful but the other stuff was just better and to me it was like damn this bitch who wrote this story this uh list must have not went to the, where i go mm-hmm. because this place is not nowhere near as good like it's good but I, for the same kind of price point i would go to where i always go mm-hmm. so yeah we left there not disappointed but like oh you know kind of got it got me thinking now like maybe i should just make my own fucking list mm-hmm. um you know <sighs> We've known each other for a really long time, mm. you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this may be the the thousandth th- the thousandth time I've said it, but um, okay. this is the reason why I don't listen to reviews. Yeah. I don't watch that. trailers. I don't believe anything that's not my own opinion. I have to go see it for myself. Yeah. The only opinion I really listen to when it comes to most things is Brian, just because he knows what my tastes are. Mm-hmm. So he understands, like, oh, you probably will like that. You probably won't. But that's about it. Yeah. No, I mean, that makes sense, man. Because a lot of times these people just, like, you're right. They should probably have never been to the other spot. Probably. And then if she went to the other spot, she'd be like, damn. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. Probably. Uh, but for me, it's also, I use it for, like, a sense of direction to try new things. That makes like, sense. Like, for somebody to just look it up. To suggest something. I'm like, oh, okay, let me see. Let me mm-hmm. compare it to what I am accustomed to as of late. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that wasn't. I would definitely so, not go back. The one on, Because the one I would choose you, the man. other place. Over it. The one on Golden Rod and Curry Ford, that one way better. That one's good, man. You know, like, uh, but you're good. talking about the the, See, the other same. one. Yeah, the one, the other one, the other yeah, side. One. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the. They're not the same owner anymore. I heard. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So yeah, that that was a a little bit of a eye opener for me on That's Saturday. Weird. Uh, what else? And then Sunday, I didn't do a damn thing, bro. Yeah. Just stood at the crib. Man, I didn't crib. do nothing, man. I was in the crib this weekend mostly, for, for sure. Man. Like just chilling because we got my boy birthday coming up. Hey, oh hey, thirty two. About to be thirty three. Trey Deuce, thirty four. Them thing. I turned thirty three this. I turned thirty two this year. No, you turned thirty three. Bitch, you've been thirty two. Oh, uh, I least. turned thirty two this year. Thanks. Good luck. You turned thirty four. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm turning to Shaq. Yeah, yeah good luck. My boy D turning 30. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not really doing much either. I didn't really do much last week either. Nothing? Nah, bro. I mean, I, no I, my pre- kid had. 32 stuff? Nah, what does bro. That look like? Nothing. It looks like exactly what happened. I was working. I'm just doing the, like, you know, we do that long stretch of work to have days off to save vacation days. That's yeah. where I'm at right now. Mm. I'm like towards the end of it. Okay. So I'm like, nice. starting to fade, starting to die a little bit. That's about it, bro. Um, you're just, that my you're just uh, busy all weekend. Yeah, that and then my kids. You know, one of them is done with school, the other one's not. So that shit's fucking annoying. And my kid always wins little awards. She doesn't really care. She mm-hmm. wanted like a little trophy for being one of the best at X, Y, and Z. And she's she's like she's used to winning shit. So she's like, all right, Bobby, can you put that somewhere? Like, yeah, hmm? you got cookies. Yeah, can we go to the bounce houses? <laughs> uh, but yeah, bro. I, been doing nothing watching anything new no i i started watching this show called how to be rich Mm -hmm. 
Um, that's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah it's like a, it's more like a, a reality I've seen, show. I've seen it a few times. I passed it. Yeah, it's like a reality show where they break down people's finances, yeah. and I realized that I don't know anything about my own finances by For watching real? the show. Yeah. That's oh, right. No, now I have to. Now I'm gonna have to check it out. Nah, now I'm I don't like, want to watch it because then I'm gonna be like, "Fuck, I hate myself." Like, yeah, I suck. That's that's literally what I felt when <laughs> I watched it. Yeah, it just shows people break down their financial situations and uh, how how like, broke we are. No, no, oh. no, no, not at all. How we make ourselves broke. Yeah, yeah. Like how like you don't prioritize the right things, yeah, and like and he like helps. Monday night. Yeah, I'm right there. So, but he, he goes in a, he, the, the host wrote a book and he's like going in different ways that you can, um, not uh, be poor, uh, not, not be poor. Just like live the best way you want to live. Okay. Like you specifically want to live, mm-hmm. which could be you having a gazillion dollars or it could be you being comfortable and being in a certain level mm. and just spending money on the things you want to spend. But that's how the show is. But that's okay. pretty much it. That's the only you. thing. And then I realized from that, I'm like, wow, I, I don't really have a good system. Yeah. Like my system for, and I obviously it's just me. So I'm like, I don't really have a good system for finances and I need yeah. a better one, especially before I fucking introduce anybody else into my shit, you know? Yeah. No, I feel you. Damn, bro. Yeah, that makes sense, man. I mean, spending money, I'm pretty sure I spend money on things monthly that I shouldn't be spending money on. I haven't looked at like <laughs> my like actual old Pornhub sub. What are you talking about? And I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, I think I'm like one of the, well, I wouldn't say I'm one of the only people, but I, I like, I'm, I, I don't share any accounts for streaming anything. Like, I know so many people that have a, a million accounts. <laughs> no, I do have HBO Max. But I, I'm the only person, like, I pay for I all my I accounts. I have HBO Max now. Yeah, I thought about it. I've, I've been, got my own for a few months. But I, I don't stream anybody. Like, I don't, like, I don't have, like, oh, I, I got somebody's this or somebody's that. Yeah, People yeah. have a mine, but I don't have anybody yeah, else's. I'm like, sisters, damn, how much do I pay for that? I have my sister's Hulu. Disney it made me Plus think of little things like that. I probably pay like 80 bucks, yeah, 100 yeah. bucks a month. In That's subs? Right. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm assuming I have to go and look. Hmm? You got all of them? Nigga. I have everything. Oh shit! Nigga, we could, but bro. And I don't. And then you guys ask me, what do you watch? Like, ask yo, me dose. what I watch. Ask I, me what I watch, and I'll be like, uh, nothing. Like literally the other day, I'm like, yo, Dust, you got Hulu? You want it's called porn? Yeah, the other day I was like, yo, Dust, you got Hulu? He's like, nah. He's like, yeah, I already do. I'm like, damn, nigga, I'm trying to give you something. <laughs> uh, he's like, I'm like, all right. I be, I be hitting him up like, yo, Dust, I think the only thing you borrow from us is like Crunchyroll. Yeah, I ju- but that just happened like when yeah. Demon Slayer came back. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's like the only thing. Yeah, I need to but start. Other than that. I need to be better about that. I got to look at that. Little yeah, things like sure. that because you, you pissed yeah, that like, money away. No, shit. you're right though, bro, because now like I got to cancel my LA Fitness. I got, I've had that for over a year. This been nigga. one time. Mm. Now I'm or, have one near me. Or, I funky picture. idea. I funky idea. I no, no, no. A funky ass fucking idea. Uh, I want you to get your stupid ass in the gym, bitch. This There's no nigga. LA Fitness by me. This, fucking drive. No. This nigga about not driving four, no 40 minutes nowhere. You bugging. This nigga about 400 pounds talking about <laughs> you got a LA. <laughs> 400 damn <laughs> <laughs> my dude LA fitness thing just eating away his shit on top of his dumb trips on the afternoon bucks. that boy is 49 <laughs> 400 49 49 he just got shorter and fatter in a matter of 3 seconds that's that weight pushing down your spine 49 <laughs> 500 Jesus <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. Even, we didn't even say five. How many? Uh, Seven hundred. Seven hundred thirty yeah. pounds. Five to five hundred. Yeah, crazy idea. Nah, but nah, but for real, uh, it's, that's it's that's, just, a, that's a really bad idea. Just having those money. random subscriptions that you yeah. dead ass do not use at all. Yeah. Still, that shit will eat away your bank account. Not I'm even still noticing. paying for title and I never listen to music. The no number one, one thing. Do you guys know what the number one thing you probably spend money on that you Food. don't need to? Yeah, that what? you don't need to spend money Food. on. Yeah, 1, food. 100%. I just yeah. told you guys I just had ramen and video and games probably. It's I, Monday. Yeah, I wish I. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, but then you you know you cut corners later. Like if you if you tell <laughs> yeah, yourself, dude, oh, I'm be, gonna eat out once a week, like then tomorrow, that's not terrible. Like tomorrow, you know? I'm just gonna drink coffee for the whole day. And just, <laughs> just coffee and water. Just like drink black day. coffee, water, tap water. I'll too. make it back in a the day. There you go. <laughs> I made my domo back. Now I can eat a sandwich on Wednesday. You just gotta on. drink coffee and cigarettes like no, a fucking but, 1940s nah, housewife. C- cigarettes are expensive. 
Um, he said tap water though, not even like, not even like actual like good water, like bottled water. No tap. Straight out my bathroom sink. Yeah. Straight out the water hose at the Straight bed. out. So I don't, I don't fuck up the bills. I'm paying for the water bill and regular I'm, shit. I'm gonna get my neighbor's get water hose. <laughs> Go to my neighbor's club <laughs> my water hose and that shit. Turn that shit on. That bitch right in my bathtub. <laughs> Oh that's what happens at the last. That's, that, that's the ritual every last week of the, of the month for us. Uh -huh. We live in the house. You're cutting, cutting, back. cutting corners. You save us. You save us some bread like that, my nigga. I take, I take the plug for the AC and put it in their shit, and I unplug the AC. <laughs> he says it like it's a plug, like you should plug. Yeah, bro. This, uh, your, yeah, this nigga your AC is shit. plugged into an outlet, right, Brian? Is it is easily oh, accessible? Oh, I see what you mean, like the power. Yeah. No, it's not connected to an outlet. It's connected directly what? to the power lines in your house. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to do it today, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to run this shit to mine. Okay. For the week. We could do that. You know, crazy, I, I, I can figure that one out. Just a couple of you know The other Ching. day I got home. I think it was actually from, no, it wasn't from here. I got home. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. And the neighbor was outside barefoot and dirty ass motherfucker going to like the trash in his bare feet. I'm like, you nasty motherfucker. He had a dirty wife beater on too, yes, right? Yes, disgusting. Mm -hmm. So he's like, he's like, hey man. He's like, I just got fined by the county for uh, running my water, my, my sprinkler system too many times. He's like, be careful. Mind you, I never spoke to the man before in my life. I'm like, he's oh, trying to thanks, help you. brother. Even though the whole point was like, you're running your you're running your water a lot, but you don't like you take a shower. So mm -hmm. he he sacrifices one for the other. Yeah. Uh, but so. yeah, but yeah, to get back to it, we just need to learn more about money, guys. For sure. That's what I learned from watching that show. You guys should probably watch it. I'm, we I'm, now that you said it, I because I've passed it, but I, I usually am good about trying new things. But if I'm already in the midst of like a couple of things. I won't do it just solely so I don't get myself invested into another thing right yeah. now. Cause now it's, that it's, you're saying it, I need that's a show like a type of show I'm missing right now for my rotation. So I'll, I'll put it in. Yeah, because like it's again, it's not like a show where it's like because uh, it sounds like very cheesy. It's like how to yeah. be rich. I saw the trailer. That's how I ended the up watching. The trailer sounded kind of cheesy to me too, though. But it's just like, like oh. he goes through scenarios with people and their actual situations, and then mm. advises them on what to do. That's yeah. tight. Yeah, so, that is and tight. then you can apply it to yourself, really. Yeah, that's fine. But I, yeah, like I said, we we yeah we could definitely be doing a lot better. I know I could. I'm terrible. Oh, that's mm. a fact. Yeah, I'm bad. Yep, me I know too. I could definitely be better. I have spurts, but uh, I go right back into. Ooh, I like this. It's shiny. Yeah. Ooh, I <laughs> Ooh. paid my bills. Hmm. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, Ooh a piece of candy. candy. <laughs> Fungo pop? $40? Fuck it. 40 bucks or dinner? Fungo, here I come. Both. <laughs> that was, that's exactly what will happen. Both. Both. <laughs> that's a fact. Then 100 down the drain. And then, that's and, it. and then you got the light bill and you just hover over the pay button. Fuck. You're like, nah, Damn. nigga, it'll go later. It'll go later. It'll go later. I put half I got that. to the 26. I got Damn. half. I put half on that today. They won't cut it off if I let it go. If they see minutes. I try well, to pay it, they <laughs> give me some time. <laughs> but hey, 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 make sure you get two bento boxes. Uh, that's the type of de that's the type of decisions. Yeah, yeah, extra, that's that's true. Extra bento, extra bento on, this, on the uh, box. Extra white sauce costs more. Fuck it. What you mean water bill ain't paid? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a, that's dead ass of the U.S. Nigga. Uh, shit. Uh, okay, what about uh, what about your birthday coming, D? How do you mm. feel about that? What's up, man? I'm a, honestly, as far as birthdays are concerned, this is probably the one that I've literally paid no attention to. Yeah, it just happens to be that I was born 32 years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, mm. that's about it. Okay. Dustin, you made it 32 years though, D. That's true, bro. Yo. Juice World didn't even see twenty five, brother. Yeah, but I don't drink perks like like I don't like. You don't eat do them. that no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> perk your head. Pill popping animal. <laughs> used to pop a perk and eat a bum. Yo, flute flop. That's it. That's a that's a flute and a flop. That's what they pop call a that? perk. Yeah, that's the flute. And then what's the flop? The the ass eating. Yeah. 
Flu- oh, flop. D, you a flu flopper? <laughs> flu flop. Crazy. Yo, popping the perk and then eating cheeks is crazy. That shit is wild. Yeah. You f- Yo. Pop the perk, eat the bum. That's yeah. what you do. Huh? Huh? On the weekdays. Okay. But on the weekends, you're holy. I'm a, I'm a good clean man on the weekends. <laughs> good clean man. My boy about to be 32. Mm-hmm. All right. Because being when we come back to the show, you're going to be 32. Yeah. That's right. So speaking of the last few days that you're 31, mm-hmm. right, what would you like to change from 31 to 32? Like when you become 32, like what would you would you not want to do that you were doing in 31? I want to do is more. Is still texting hoes at night? Oh, no. Nah, I don't want to do that no more. There we go. No more. What? <laughs> did, I, did you guys Whoa, hear me say that? You see, we unraveling some shit right now. Are we we are, no. right? We nah, mean. I can't be doing that. I can't move like that. So the thing is, is that like, I was, I was, I, I don't want to say I was doing the math, but I, I, I've been single for four years now. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And I don't see an end in sight, bro. Mm. Is that more so because you don't feel like the field is? F- uh, flowers is a nice picking season yet. Nah, it's if I. <laughs> I don't like the if, fucking. If I'm still. In, I'm not on the field. I'm in the dugout still. You're in the dugout still. Okay. Okay. Warming up. Warming it up. I'm not yelling at my teammates. Oh shit. Oh, yelling at your teammates. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? I don't know how that fits in this. Movie. Yeah, I'm the trying to figure it out. Now, in I your just... situation, is your teammate your crotch? <laughs> You gonna fucking play this game right? I fucking tell you. You sit the fuck down on the bench. Actually, you know what? That could be a good analogy. I'll just ride with it. Yeah, <laughs> yelling at my crotch. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Sit down! <laughs> no, I won't do that. That's the worst when you get a, a fucking stiffy in the oh, window. Yo, you know that's the worst when we out in public yo. and just random stiff. Bling, bling, bling. You, you don't remember that episode like you, of South Park? I and the worst is trying to that. figure out like how to get it down before someone notices you're doing the like leg shift, where you start like leg shifting to a start like a certain like angle, so it looks like it's like your pants like making like weird jagged leg like lines, mm-hmm. but it's really your, you know. Nah, man, I have to I have to just stay seated until everyone leaves. <laughs> So you just stay seated until everyone yeah, leaves? He, he stays seated until, until anyone, everybody leaves so nobody gets hurt. Oh, whoa. So that, I don't get hurt. They're going to be like, what is that? Beedle-dee, beedle-dee. <laughs> is that the sports center? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, but all jokes aside, um, I, I does, it's been a long time since I've had that yeah, problem. Yeah, that has me too. It's been a really long time since that has happened okay. to me. Yeah, I don't. I mean, but in, when it did happen, you do have to just wait it out. No, the wor- no, the worst is when you're like trying to, you know, the worst is when it's last year and you were in Miami and you were asleep in your bed, perfectly fine. And then one of your friends come in the bed and then, you know, you were in your bed and in and, and the bed when you're asleep, sometimes things happen, you know, you, you know, you wake up erect. And then the motherfucker is like on top of you trying to wake you up, DKK wrestling you. And I'm telling him. Can you get the fuck off of me? Because this isn't the right time for you to be doing some weird shit like this. And then, you know, I'll just end my story there. It's like that. This sounds like the beginning of a... a what of are you, we talking about? Of a, of a scary situation. What are we talking about? Um, somebody, about somebody tried to fucking like to wrestle Miami? me when I had a morning wood. Miami? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want to make it weirder? I was no. in the room for that. Yeah, I was like, "You get the fuck off me, you stupid motherfucker!" I have the fucking party where you fucking nasty motherfucker. Yeah, I'm telling him straight up what it is. I'm telling him, get the Yo, fuck the off of me. I can't control what is going on right now. You shit need to get the Brian, fuck off me. The funniest shit is Brian yelling that. At <laughs> Jorge, <laughs> I didn't want to say his name. He's yelling at him. He's like, "Yo, bro, chill. I got you." I got the morning wood chill. This is weird. Please get off of me. Stop. So that he played harder. Yo, he played rougher. <laughs> so he doubled down. <laughs> doubled down. Oh, shit, dude. That's doubled so... down. Crutcher ties me capitano, right? There's only one way to describe that, and that is 
a very weirdy morning. <laughs> yeah. But to answer your question, Definitely. sir, <laughs> I, I'm just going to try to be less impulsive about certain things. Less impulsive? Yes. Mm. Okay. Basically oh, okay. what I said. Stop sending the late texts. Oh, no. I'm talking about financially impulsive. Oh, okay. Mm. Now it's financially impulsive. That's a way to fit that. That word. goes hand in hand, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess. Sure. Yeah. If you're paying for it. <laughs> well, I mean, you could be paying for the gas to drive. Or she Maybe can. you're like, hmm, should I use this gas for me? Or if you're a role player, she's paying for, for the that? gas. I use that ass for the gas. Remember that old saying, guys. And if you guys don't know this, you're ass. being taught today. It's gas or ass. Yeah. It's you throwing for that gas. Oh, you throwing that ass back? Oh, one shit. of the two. Don't don't hit us up if you ain't you ain't off in one of the two. Gas what? or ass? I think that should be like an unwritten rule. We ain't dating, bitch. Oh, I'm shit. single. You single? We've been talking and fucking around. Oh. Bitch, don't hit me at no eleven. Talking mm-hmm. about yo, what you doing? I'm gonna hit you. Gas or ass? That's it. That's the response. Gas, gas or, or ass? ass. She's just gas. I'm going to just send you gas, and that's it. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll be on my way. I'll wait, I'll wait till the Zell hits. Facts. <laughs> wait till the Zell hits? Wait till Can't the Zell trust hits. Her? Can't trust she, her. You can't be like, oh, she's, well, she's like, yo, I got and, the 20 here for the gas. And if, it ain't ga- and if it ain't Zell, bitch better send that extra with the cash app, because I ain't doing no instant and paying the fee, bitch. Oh, so she got to send the 23 to make sure? She mm-hmm. better send the extra five <laughs> so I can make sure that shit hit my account right now. So yeah, I can go crazy. get me that cootie. Mm-hmm. 25. Sheesh. 25 corner pocket. 25 like that one. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. 25 corner pocket. That's what Brian used to tell him back in the day. 25 corner pocket. Eight yeah. ball. Going you know what's right crazy? There. I know Brian for a fact used to tell women he loved them just no. to get in their panties. No, that's crazy. 100,000 percent. That was like in high school, maybe. 100,000. What, what do you think is the official, like the, the for sure way to get in? Is, huh? that, the, is that the easiest way? Yeah, you got to lie. No. You got a lot. You got a lot. If you're gonna get, if you're de- well, look, all right. Brian says no. That's mm-hmm. because Brian's experiences with the type of women that he has. Let's just say they were the old. Uh, how we say we 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 group wow. them in this kind of a uh, wow that's, in this that's like shady. area, not area. This like group of that's women that shady. are called scallywags. Mm-hmm. That's slut uh, I don't know if that's okay. Uh, Skibbity uh, boo bobs. Uh, Skibbity doo dots. Scallywags. Uh, you know. What's the word? Flame flams. No, it starts with a, a succubuses. Succubus. Yeah, okay. they just suck That's the soul out of you. Oh, uh, yeah. Because Don't nymphos. Nymphos, okay. Yeah. Those oh. were the type of uh, personality traits your brother used to look at. Suck your mm-hmm. bus. So, uh, so I'm still waiting for the answer. What do you think is the, is the, the go-to way to approach these? Oh, well, to mine get, to get them. is just lie. Just, wow. yeah, whatever she's into, you're into. You know, <laughs> whatever she likes. Lie about it. Say, yeah, I like that too. You know? <laughs> Whatever mean, that... it is to make her believe that you have interest in the shit she likes when you really don't. Because all you really want to do is sing, this right here is a penny dropper. Mm. Right? That's the way to you do it. Just lie. Extra How about you, Brian? Since you're the pro. Huh? Which, what's the, the way? Pro. What's the way? What's the way in? Show me the way. La- making them laugh, bro. 100%. Being funny as fuck. That's all you could do. Have so a how the fuck you got him? Huh? <laughs> <That's funny>. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, bitch. Uh, okay. All right. So well, funny I, as fuck is how you got all them girls to give you ass. That's hard most, to believe. Most of the time. That's hard to You know believe. what sucks is like I don't have either one of those skills. Like I, I, I'm not really good at faking to like things that I don't like. Uh-huh. If I don't like it, uh, yeah, I'm going to adamantly true. say I don't like it. Yeah. And then funny as fuck. I ain't funny at all. Uh-huh. So what the uh-huh. fuck am I supposed to do now? Well, you know, you're funny, you dude. might not think you're funny, but the girl you think you're talking to. Exactly. There's not she a might, lot of things I don't like more. Bro. There's not a lot of things I hate more than somebody laughing at something that I knew I said that wasn't funny and they laugh at it. Isn't that annoying? Yes. I have a friend named Jana. <laughs> no, but I said it and it wasn't funny. <laughs> yeah. But then they're cracking up like it. it was hilarious. It gets me tight. Don't uh, I love when Jader laughs at my jokes. Jader be giving us layups though. Yeah, that's Jader should be gives awesome. Zyvin this the fucking Dave Chappelle <laughs> applauds every time he says a joke. And then 
He laughs at the <laughs> stupidest shit. You know, you know what, you know what getting a laugh from Jana is like. When getting the laugh from Jana is like my nut at, in the morning. No, wow. um, is it easy. Exactly. Uh, getting a laugh from Jana is like winning a championship in the Special Olympics basketball league. Damn. Whoa. That's that's crazy. a low, bro. That's low. A lot of people have major, major pride in that sport, in that event. You know, blood, <laughs> sweat, and tears on that court. Maybe sometimes, you know, having to face adversity, uh, tough road games, just a lot of things <laughs> play into the Special Olympics that I would honestly say is probably on par with G League. Mm-hmm. Like competitive wise, yeah. So, Frank, can I ask you another question? Do you have any experience with the Special Olympics? Yeah, I used to go ahead and volunteer, help, uh, you know, organize teams. You used to games. Drag, you used to drag the court with the uh, motherfuckers, huh? Practice, <laughs> you know, things like that. Also, it plays a special place in my heart. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas used to drag. Y'all niggas, y'all, y'all band of thugs. Y'all used to just drag the motherfuckers across the court. I know, what are you talking about? I, I, I really wish I was there for the championship game. Uh, yo, you seen all my friends celebrate a win in the special. Uh, <laughs> been the best experience of my life. And look, man, a champion is a champion. Yo, I can't believe they announced that shit on my high, like on my graduation when they gra- when they when they named everyone. Though. They, they named, named everyone, everyone that was you too. They didn't name me. Oh my bad. They didn't name me. No, no they did it. No way was it. I nigga, I remember that shit vividly, Frank. I'm telling you, bro. They named why names they on name? that squad. They, they were like, why they would were they like, name yo, me the greatest your graduation. Team. In you, Winter Park You graduated history. a whole year before, after, before me. Why would but they say my I name? I don't know, dude. I don't know why they did that. And they did that. I said. And yeah. they did that. I said another name. Winter Winter Park Soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> Championships <laughs> forever. And for those and for those listeners right now that are slightly confused, I will say it plain Jane for you. Somebody, not named Brian or Delson, <laughs> happened to win a championship. In his career as a basketball player, that championship was won 2007, 2008. No, that was way before that. 2006. Yeah. And Shout in that championship, my, my it, was, it was in the league mm. of, that we would call the Special Olympics. Mm. And it was the Winter Park Soldiers. And it was mm. like five or six of my friends on that team. Mm. And they have the championship. They still have the trophy framed in their house. Mm. They have the championship belt. Because mm. that's what they decided to go with. They have the championship belt in their mm. house, too. Hung up. And they have the trophy. The proudest moments of their lives. Some would say... Some <laughs> to would me, say, it sounds like stuff of legends. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a, a story that I would tell my kids. Yeah. Uh, adversity. Challenging. Hmm. And just, uh, how you say... Focusing in and ignoring the outside noise. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what I think that is. Okay. How did we get here again? No, well, you guys were asking me. Uh, uh, no, I asked you about thirty-two, and then you said, uh, "Yeah, I don't want to send no more late night sex texts no more." Yeah, and I said laughs from Jane are like winning the Special Olympics. Mm. There it is. Yep. There we go. And we're back. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I'm focused on. Just being a little bit more methodical. Okay. What about you, Brizzy? What you been up to, brother? You had to work this weekend. Yes, sir. I was at work on Saturday. I had um I had uh a girlfriend. And the end the end of the school year is here. I have award ceremonies to go to. I have this, I have that. I had to uh I am currently I, I watched that new movie Missing. <laughs> On Netflix, I don't know that, that shit that was is. really good. It who's was like it, about it, it, it's a it's about um it's about basically this girl um her mom is about to go on a trip like she's a typical teenage girl that's annoyed at her mom her mom's overbearing always hitting her up blah 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 oh I think I know this movie and then and then she goes to Colombia and disappears and the mom disappears and the girls like on the internet shit yeah it's the yeah. shorty from Last of Us yeah yeah. Last of Us? 
yeah, she was in Last of Us. She was. The, oh, she was the homegirl in Last of Us. Yeah, and she's on um on HBO Max too with the uh, homegirl with Zendaya. Yeah, that's she's her little on, sister. Uh, what, What's it called? Euphoria. Yeah, Euphoria. Yeah, she's her little uh, sister. Yeah. Um. But yeah. No, the movie was really good. I honestly just finished watching. It was it. good. That, sh- that shit was pretty fire. Yeah, it was like. <coughs> Excuse me. Like think of like, like a cigarettes. like a crazy Netflix story that you'll you'll like you like what the fuck like what what's gonna like what fucking happened to the mom like yeah. you know like when they when they have those crazy murder mysteries and shit on on Netflix that happen in real life those documentaries it's it it kind of make gives you that feel that it like that it plays on those 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 little heartstrings but it was pretty cool I I, I fucked with the movie the twist was pretty good it got me honestly okay. I didn't expect it but maybe you guys will expect a little twist but. Um, and yeah, no, um, what else? I watched Mario as we already talked about earlier. Yeah. Um, also had a, had to, uh, had to, had to discipline my kid a little bit stronger than Ooh. I would like. Um, what do you mean by that? Did you go ahead and. Tell him he was wrong. Yeah, no, I had to, I had, I had to use a belt. Whoa, right. That might be sensitive for some listeners. And uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that, huh? I don't know. Me personally, that's <laughs> normal. I, I think that's regular discipline that you should give your kids. No, but some I, others, I, I've never. Some others have. Let's just before. say the uh, lighter pigment might feel different. I just <laughs> never, I, I've never done something like that, but. <clears throat> But uh, but yeah, he uh, he got into really big trouble. So at school and got suspended, which made him not. Was that like your first time ever room. having to deal with like one of your children, like in some sort of like huge adversity, like something like, like problematic yeah. that you were like, oh, like no, no. I mean, I mean, my my kids, um, you know, get into their fair share of of doing things that they shouldn't be doing or saying things that they shouldn't be saying, mm-hmm. but. Um, I don't feel like that's and that's abnormal from any kid. Yeah. Um, but I would say that I try to, I try to not discipline my kids in a way where it's like the old school of disciplining. You know, I try to use my words and try to you know be a little bit more gentle. But it seems that it may not work for everyone all the time. Um. Maybe it's like a balance that we have to find as parents. I think so. Um, I'm not even a parent. But it was just, either. yeah, it's, it, 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 was, it was hard for me, honestly. Like, it was honestly really hard for me. And it's yeah. honestly still really hard for me to even talk about it. But I talked about it on the cast because um, I mean, it's, a it's what we do. It's a real share. life it's thing real parents life have thing to deal with, bro. Through. Yeah. Also, consider this, man. Not everybody responds to the same stimulus the same way. So, like, certain things, like... Like, if somebody tells me, yo, Delson, I need you to do this, this, and this, depending on how they say it, I'll respond how they want or not. Because mm-hmm. I don't like authority. I don't like somebody telling me what to do. And I don't like trying to, uh, people trying to play mind games to get me to, want, to do what they want me to do also. Mm-hmm. So, like, <clears throat> just if, if things are direct, then I'm cool. But if you're like, hey, you should really do that because it's this, this, and this. You should really behave because of this, this, and this. Like... Don't do that to me. So that's the type of stimulus that wouldn't work for me. Mm-hmm. But you tell me like, hey, don't do that because of this. I'm, I wish I can use more concrete words yeah, um, to make it make sense. Um, but like, for example, let's say, hey, you should really go to the gym because you're getting a little chubby. <laughs> that will, I'll never respond to that. Like, that's just, that's just not how I react. But if they're like, hey, man, you should really work. Like, are you going to be going back to the gym or you should really work out? Like, it'll help your health, blah, 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 or whatever it is. I'll respond better than that than somebody trying to like punk me into something. So like for example, I, in your what situation, if I say, yo, you fat as shit. <laughs> well, like how do you respond to that one? I'm staying fat as shit, <laughs> just for, out of out of uh for principle. Mm-hmm. But like if my kids are misbehaving and I tell them, hey, you should stop doing that. Like stop jumping on that because you're gonna fall and hurt yourself. Yeah, that's one thing. It's like, oh man, I don't think you should do that anymore because if you're falling, no, nah, I don't do that. I, like, I don't even do that. I'm not. I'm just saying, yeah, like yeah, every yeah. kid responds differently. Everybody responds yeah. differently. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe the stimulus that you were giving them is, or or when it kids, it wasn't working. So mm-hmm. giving them a different stimulus might be the way that they respond. 
So it's not bad to give one person one stimulus, one another. Yeah. We were raised that way. I feel like I got different stimulus that work for me than you got different stimulus in certain situations, depending on what mm-hmm. was going on. Yeah, you know? like one was the broom for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's necessary. The, yeah, listen. But no, I just, I, I, you know, I just, it was just like really difficult. But it, but I feel like I, you know, I explained to him what was going on and why it wasn't just for nothing. You know, and I, I really feel like he understood and he really feels bad about what happened at school and shit. So maybe, hopefully, you know, I, I'm I'm trying to uh, or maybe hopefully we could try to get him like, you know, some some extra help because he does have ADHD and stuff like that. But yeah, um, but he's no, but he's he's a very smart kid. and He really like he's like caring and and, and everything like that. He just doesn't. For some reason, he only listens to me. He doesn't really listen to his mom and shit. I have to, like, I have to be the one that's telling him, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, basically, yeah. like, I, I bring him back to earth sometimes. Like, he'll do some stupid shit, and I'll just be like, yo. Wait, and he'll dead ass look at me like, oh, I fucked up, dad. Yeah. Like, it could be as simple as being around women all the time. No disrespect mm-hmm. to women, but, like, not having that, that, uh masculine energy around the women might yeah. might throw it off a little bit mm-hmm. where he feels like he can just say things or, or... he just responds better to you being mm-hmm. you're the alpha male because he requires and, it you know what i'm saying like you're his dad so like it's a different type of thing it's like as weird as it is to say it's almost like the wolf pack like there is mm-hmm. one male alpha dominant mm-hmm. there is also the omega which is the female but they don't have a real imposing will in the pack and you're not saying your pack is different obviously you you're not with your Mm -hmm. you know the mother of your child but it's just his way of thinking is always going to be that it's like Mm -hmm. pops is alpha male like Mm -hmm. he barks at me he roars at me i gotta get in line Mm -hmm. and that's probably just how it is like i wasn't like that because i was raised by women mainly Mm -hmm. but like i but back to what you're saying like my my stimulus my mother needed to whip my ass i was Mm -hmm. a bad kid Mm-hmm. It's just what it was, bro. I was a f- fucking wild child, and I was. And to be honest, I think we've talked about it before, but I'm low key. I know as fucked up as it is, you probably shouldn't be whooping your kids' ass the way my mother did. But at the same time, it probably saved my life. Mm-hmm. You know, diverged me from being in jail, diverged me from being in gangs or following other people doing stupid shit. Because in the back of my mind, I always thought my mom go on my ass. Mm-hmm. So. Hey, like, I, I agree with D. I think it's just all kids respond to different things, bro. Yeah, the, and the way I think about it, too, is like a, like, like, a, like, just like that, like growing and just, just, he's a, he's a boy. He's, the, 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 he's growing fast as fuck. Yeah. And he's strong. That's why I'm, I'm just scared about him being a giant, like, like being big as fuck and And having real like raw emotions and having strength and those type of emotions that he can't control that, that kind of creeps me out because yeah, that could be a person that could do some serious damage. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Very (laughs) much true. But I, I, you know, I I don't want to do stuff like that, but at the same, you know, I don't want him to do stuff like that. You better get your ass in the gym before he beats your ass. Yeah, he's (laughs) stupid as fuck. You got to mitigate it from here, bro. Just Mm -hmm. better start off. Better start out now. My kids. They'll learn. Kid, bro. He's, you could tell anytime you speak to him, he's not like a. He doesn't have any mal, yeah. mal intent in him ever. Yeah, he probably yeah, just sure. literally reacts out of emotions because yeah. of him just being a natural human. Right, right, right. Like he right, doesn't right. know how to control it, and that's fine. It's gonna mm-hmm. come with time. Yeah, it's gonna come with some direction that you're giving him. Exactly, but, exactly. As long as he has people that care about him and and, and direct him and mold yeah. him the, in the right way of yeah. what needs to that's be think about done too. and how to act. It is what it is, bro. Mm-hmm. It's it's just a mistake. You did what you had to do. Maybe some people on our on our podcast may not, you know, agree to that, but we all parent who are parents, obviously, parent their child how they want, mm-hmm. not and how they deem they need to. Mm-hmm. So, you know, however your kid comes out, because I'll be honest, a lot of y'all kids ain't ain't good kids. Mm-hmm. I've been around some kids that I'm like, if this was my kid, in the cage. <laughs> y'all know what I mean by that. That doesn't make them better. In the fucking cage with a blanket over, just like I do my dog now. <laughs> Had a go ahead. What? Say something, Emo. Huh? What do you say, Emo? <laughs> put that ass right in there. Yo. In the big cage too. The shit that they put like the big shepherds. 
The big ass Germans. The one with the plastic on the bottom. Yeah. The big ass one. And then you get like a, a lock pad. So they, they a get, lock pad. Yeah. So you, only you can unlock it. And By a metric. Throw job? a bowl of water in there, here and there. Here yo, and there. Yo, Brian. What the fuck's wrong with him? Nah, I don't know. It they got some saw shit. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not talking about torture my kid. Um, More discipline. It. It's all perspective. <laughs> <laughs> it's all perspective. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's some real... Well, I mean, yeah. some real adult shit you had to deal with this weekend, right? Yeah. You had the most adult I had to grow shit a little bit. to deal with, brother. I had to grow. Um, But no, but I mean, today I spent the day with him. He, You know what I'm saying? we're He's my best bud. We're cool. Yeah, we're cool. Mm-hmm. We're good today. Yeah, he wasn't beefing with me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we good. You know what's crazy is like, it's weird how like we started off this cast almost in a in a space of like where we're at mm-hmm. mentally because I don't know if you guys know, but May is the Mental Health Awareness Month. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I know May it's just that. funny that you no, know, I was having this conversation earlier today, um, and I didn't I don't know that because you know we always be like, oh, there's a new. Something awareness every Nigga, month. Fuck. Me. So I was like, oh, that's crazy. Dustin's birthday's on his way. And then, you know, you just explain, you mm-hmm. just finished uh, sharing that story. It's just like, man, men- mentally, where we're at at the age of like 30 or 30s fuck. is so different, right? Like, yeah, even man. speaking about the detergent thing, like 10 years ago, it's just a different mentality, different space we're all in now. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's definitely. Uh, that's crazy. It is. It is very. It's back to the, I know as small as it is the detergent talk it was like a key eye opener for me it was like and I told fuck, you fuck man I'll give anything to be fucking ten years fifteen years younger just to live that one more time damn that's crazy bro. yeah man it's it's just it's just weird and you know we gotta we still being, we still we gotta, you know yeah we, we're we young we're still in, we're still young but what I'm saying is like you we know not club. just us three all of us is like friends. Who are not just friends, but are men in their thirties. I think we need to take our mental health a little bit more serious, man. Like you know, the day <laughs> that we feel down. <laughs> no, Brian, I'm not saying go eat yourself, bro. Just finish it off with the. What I, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, doggies. What's up with my boy? What's up with y'all today? Y'all I, I just, crazy. I, 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 I feel silly today. I was trying to be serious. <laughs> it's the balance. <laughs> balance. I hate the hate. <coughs> yeah, but you're 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 right, Frank. I mean, I think it's it, it's crucially it important. important to to especially uh, men, bro. Men don't like to talk about their mental status to any other man and friends at that. I think particularly men don't like talking about their own men. No, but I mean that's that goes without saying. The statistics back it. The the reality is that men just don't. We're not empowered to talk about our issues. Yeah, it's just the way that it is. When you, when guys go through things, we're not really encouraged to go through them publicly. Yeah. If you're a guy, you go figure it out. Go talk to a shrink. Go do something that's not in my plane of view. I don't want to see it. Damn, you bitching about your job? It's like... You know what's crazy? Did you guys see that article too that came out recently (laughs) that the US is at its all-time high with depression cases? Yeah, I heard. It's like now like one in every six humans have uh, depression. Or mad niggas trying to get antidepressants. Part of it too is... That's um, some dust shit. (laughs) I'm just saying. No, you're right though, but there's definitely people who do that. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, part of it too is um, uh, what, and this is just something that I saw, and I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I thought it was interesting. Was about uh, uh, like being overstimulated. Like most people are overstimulated now, um, due to the like phone. their phone. Mm-hmm. So they have constant stimulation for their brain. Um, when it doesn't have that type of stimulation, it, it, like that high is always so high. So the depression is the only thing that the brain responds like in, in in response to that. Yeah, that that high stimulus, like you're always up, 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 up. That that depression is the opposite. As soon as they of make it. a sandwich, is like fuck my life. I got to do this myself. Right. Jeez, man, I believe yeah. that, bro. But it's not necessarily that like they're stimulated in a way where they're getting smarter or getting better. But the dopamine of just continue to scroll and see something new, see something new, see something new is too much for our brains to handle mm-hmm. in our current state, right? Yeah. Because obviously evolution's a thing. But um, that could be part of the that bi- the by. Bi- 
the byproduct of that particular lifestyle that we live. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the depression also comes with like the shit like back to what Delta's saying, just the stuff you see too. Like what algorithmic is dedicated in mm. for you. That like, has the world the world seems like it's about to fucking explode right now. The right. world war is about to happen. Yeah, yeah like that has. And like, they, I mean it's pretty it, it seems like it's pretty it's how can I say this? It's pretty uh justifiable if everyone is fucking depressed right now, dude. Yeah. We just went through the craziest three years. Like in a long ass fucking most time. Most of our yeah, <laughs> like, honestly, it was crazy. By most of the human race, that was the craziest times of their life was yeah. during the pandemic because no one what was that like a century, once in a century fucking pandemic. Yeah, niggas didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen. Yeah, so I can understand that. And then everybody working from home, and then just trying to get back to normalcy. I could definitely see that. Yeah. Like I know some people who now like. Like a lot of their, there's a lot of companies who are telling people to go back to like three days of work in the office. And there's a lot of people who are against it now, man. Yeah. Don't want a to lot of people who do it's not a benefit want anything now to, work to do home. with that. Yeah. They don't want to do nothing to do with that, bro. Like it's crazy how, like even me, like my mentality now, like I'm, I used to be the person who was so against working from home because I was yeah. like, no, I need somewhere to go to. I need somewhere to dedicate space to just focus on work. And then now I can't even fathom going to anywhere outside my fucking room because I don't want to be around those people. And it's, I don't know if that's me regressing socially. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I used to, like, go for the social aspect, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what that is. And I, that could be partially a part because of the pandemic. Like, a part of trauma that comes from the pandemic is, like, I, I got in condition to not be around people, so now I don't want to be around people. Mm. Yeah. You see? So. Yeah. I mean, also consider that uh, it could be the social aspect, but a lot of it is like the commute and all that stuff. Like yeah. that just added stuff that doesn't pay you more, but it costs you more. So some people are just physically smart and say, Yo, I'd rather not chill with nobody with, that works with me, but to save my money from commute. And all that's, that shit. Yeah. That's one thing. And then I think like a lot of reasons why I feel like a lot of people are, uh, could be dealing with depression too is just, I feel like a lot of people are just doing the same shit, meaning. Yeah, me. No, I mean, like everybody. How many people do you know is working towards something? And like. If we're all living the same thing where you work, you roll, scroll through social media. Yeah. You go to sleep, you wake up and then you do that five days a week until the weekend. And then you go out the weekend or do something fun on the weekend. And then you do that again and again, but you're not really, there's not a lot of progression and progression doesn't mean financially. You're, it could be like emotionally, not, um, not emotionally getting better, like yeah. emotionally more intelligent or yeah. uh, gaining any skills or doing anything fulfilling. Yeah. Then at some point, don't, the only direction you can go is down. Right. Yeah. And not only that, staying flat is staying, it's going down. Yeah. Like you were staying the same, you're not progressing. Yeah. Right. And you're not accomplishing anything. And that could lead to people being depressed too. Yeah. So I think I, mean, I battle with that a lot. Like I wouldn't say I'm depressed. We're, we're done near to- it. But I will say there is times I get moments where I'm like, fuck, man, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this day being the same that it was <clears throat> yesterday. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like there is moments I get that. And those are the type of moments that. I have to remind myself, like, no, one, no one's changing that but you. You are the only person that can change that. Whether that is finding a hobby, obviously we're doing what we do here in an aspect of that, but just adding something to yourself to try to prevent you from what, like Del's saying, going down deep uh, in the depths of your thoughts. Um, yeah, I, I would never sit here and say I'm depressed. would never sit here and say I fucking ruined my life, hate it. I'm nowhere near that. But I can understand how may those thoughts can stack in domino effect to someone leading to a very oppressive and depression type of thinking. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, it's, it sucks to see statistics like that. Yeah. And even on top of that, you know, us being 30 plus here, like we grew up in an age where men, back to what Delson was saying earlier, like we were just we were just thought or assumed to have to deal with our own emotions and intrusive thoughts ourselves or if we had those issues the real outlets wasn't 
unfortunately, we weren't conditioned to outlet to our friends. We were conditioned to keep that in or go see a shrink, like anybody would say. Mm-hmm. So, you know, maybe we could change that, all of us, uh, not just as a friend group, maybe as men, the actual mm. uh, sex of being just a little more open with each other. Uh, you know, women do it. Women stand behind each other, yo. Even if it's fakely, bro. They got mm-hmm. movements. You don't see a movement of men, whether it's heterosexual, homosexual, whatever it is, That's... standing together and, you know, just for supporting each other for being a man and dealing with what we possibly deal with mentally. Because not trying to say women don't have it harder than us. Not saying any uh-huh. of those things. All I'm saying is, we also deal with things, and a lot of us don't talk about it, and we should, not only as humans, but as friends, as men, uh, you know, just those things should be a change in a lot of our ways of thinking, because I don't think any of us in this room should deal with demons by themselves. This is why we became friends 15 years ago, and that, on a grander scale, is like, if you got a brother... If you got a, a friend or someone who you you guys just talk fucking about sports and drugs and bitches oh, and shit, just shit. ask them one time, like, yo, how you doing today, bro? How's your, how's your day been? You know, how you feeling? You know what I'm saying? Like, where you at? Where, where, where you mental at today? It takes two, brother. People don't talk. Even if you tell, yeah. even if you give them the, the runway. So you gotta remember that, too. Yeah. And I mean, we're not encouraged to speak because... Um, it's a sign of something that we're not allowed to be as men, which is weak. So if you're, and, and truth be told, if you speak, that's a lot harder and stronger than it is to not speak. Mm-hmm. Shutting up's a lot easier. If you're dealing with something, you just decide to just pick a corner and just hide in that corner. That's a lot easier than going and actually putting your, your heart in your sleeve and talking to people. Yeah, and your cell phone, front street. So, but, I mean, that's <laughs> going to be the culture for a long time. I don't really see a way where it changes. Um, to be honest with you, but it, it takes, it takes two. It takes, uh, the person to speak more than the other side listening. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. All right. Man, you know, just want to let you guys know, love you guys. Yeah. My brothers mm-hmm. here for talk about, no, it's some real shit. Cause like, look at the shirt. I read he's wearing. stories, man, of people who've been in marriages, happy <laughs> families, kids, bro. And off themselves cause they weren't happy inside. and. We've talked about that before. You just never know who may be feeling like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all see each other all the time, and what we do, it's almost always 99.9% a good time. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean want some of us during that good time don't got shit going on but, outside of that, bro. You know, it's just we should check on our friends more in their mental state just to make true. sure everybody's okay, you know, because you just never know, dog. And, don't want to ever get one of those calls in the morning for sure. So, yeah, Never. definitely uh, for anybody out there fighting with any sort of mental demons, Come mental illnesses, you. you know, if you have someone that you deem a friend or a close one, share that, you know, share that. They're not going to turn you down. They're not going to, you know, if they're a real friend, they're going to listen to you. And whether that helps or not, at least you got someone who had an ear for you. You don't have to deal with that shit by yourself, yo. Yeah. For real. All right, you guys ready for some quick hits? Sound yes, a little sir. bit more lighter. That was a, I thought that was a quick hit. That was the quick hit. Wow, we're just gonna we're just gonna end on a a heavy tone. So we're just gonna end it right here. We're gonna real end it right here. Real a heavy dark. tone. Yeah. Depression, sadness is what we like on this podcast. And, and by the way, <laughs> and we'll open the door to not just the people that are here recording. Yeah. If you're going through something judgment free, you can reach out to any one of us, especially especially me. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, judgment free over here. Yo, this nigga said he <laughs> He a bitch. <laughs> this nigga a whole bitch bitching about this shit. He ain't, is he dead ass crying right now? Yo. Hey, yo Dallas, look at this cry, shit. Talking about he's gonna yeet himself. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Pussy hoe. Yeah. All right, let's get into the quick hits, brothers. I don't really got much, to be honest. Uh, okay, I know y'all seen this one. No, y'all seen this one. Please, I need the opinion, especially from Bri. Please lock in. Mm. Did y'all see 
the video that plus size model accusing United Airlines of discriminating fat people because the air the 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 aisle was too yo shorty was too small for her. Can shorty, I ask you a shorty simple was question? Herself through that shit. I'm asking you a simple question before we continue. Okay. Because we're gonna go back to the very first thing you said. You said she's a plus size what? She's a plus size woman who is accusing the United. <laughs> The she, United, United Airlines of discriminating I, against plus size people because how small their aisles on their airplanes are. I don't, airplanes know. I, are. I don't I, think I, she's plus size. I think she's like exponential sized. Yo, not plus. Like yo, you know like what's so crazy? Size. You know what's so crazy? What? That's it, it's like you went in my brain and it said took it. The joke. I was like. In my brain is like I think of a plus sign. I'm like, when you see girls that big, what? What in my brain? I was like, what can you do? Like, what can you it be? And it's an exponent. Yeah, <laughs> that's an exponent. And then he said it. Yeah, it's just like my brain. Like, <laughs> she's exponential. She's, the, she's if, like the the equation inside the parentheses. Yeah, definitely times times ten. That's what it do is. Do you guys know what factorials are? Yeah, she's a factorial. Matt, deep. De- she she big in them factorials, nigga. You know what a factorial no, is? Bro, it's like to the umpteenth, <laughs> to umpteenth to bajillion. No, a factorial is like if you do like ten exclamation point, that's a factorial of ten. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's ten plus nine plus eight plus seven plus six plus five plus four <laughs> plus three plus two plus one. She's a factorial. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's what, what a factorial. What they call is. her in DR, Brian? What do you see, man? That's a guagua. Una guagua. <laughs> Una maldita desgracia que come todo. Okay, can we stop, like, fat shaming here, bro? And, like, get to the fucking article? Bro, she almost brought the plane down, her fat ass. Fuck <laughs> out Yo, when, when I see her pushing herself through in that little ass backpack on her back, I was like, what the fuck she got in that backpack, nigga? <laughs> Twinkies? Man. Nah, nigga, she got to have got, a bigger backpack for her that food, man got, That man got three Lunchables. The pizza one, the family <laughs> cracker one. <laughs> Snack the bitches. <laughs> she eats the chocolate first. <laughs> she, yo, that's a fat first, yo. <laughs> if you eat the fucking dessert first before you eat the entree shit, she, you she throws these. She throws the rest of the shit out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> that's funny. Yo. <laughs> what do you okay? But what do you guys think of what she's saying, dog? Is there any the, validity to this, it? I, I can say they discriminate versus tall people because fucking my knees don't fit. That's so true. why the fuck? Why the fuck don't I get special treatment for my fucking knees not fitting in any plane I've ever <laughs> ever went to ever in my life? Yo, that's true, bro. How do you fit, bro? I, I barely do, nigga. My you, knees be hurting fam, OD when I get to places. Fam, how you? And my neck be all fam? bent and shit when I'm walking through the fucking we aisle. Gonna have, we gonna have to be pushing Brian on the wheelchair through all Tokyo. <laughs> Why? Cause you fat you know, as shit, bitch. How you gonna fit in chairs? In the chairs over there. And the so, airplane. You know how long that flight is. So let's ask the question. I thought, I thought we laid down. I thought they got the laid down, Jones. Yeah, you gonna pay. <laughs> Back just like the jumbo shit. Damn. Unless you pay extra done. for the bag. I gotta have to pay for like extra leg room or something, bro. Then uh, cause I can't be. <laughs> this gonna be a long with, flight. Yeah, Whoa. Be like, I'm in a chair like this. Nigga, they gonna have to. They gonna have to fuck me up. I'm gonna be like that dude yelling, nigga. He's like dude, the one that yelled at the baby. Fuck that fucking baby. <laughs> Did that baby pay extra to cry? <laughs> Yo, people are wild these days. Let's yeah. let's just ask the simple questions about this big ass bitch. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you God, guys are letting man. it fly. I'm just here. Oh, hey, it's it's I'm, I'm just that's, listening. So how many seats is she gonna take up? What do you think? Two or three? Easily. There's no doubt in my mind. If it's a if it's a two row plane meeting, right and left, one row solely is for her. Okay. So with that being said, she's not buying one seat. She's buying three seats. I hope to God. The same way that if I go with my child that barely takes a seat, she has to pay for a whole seat, mm. then she got to pay for her extra children she ate. Whoa. 
She ate at least what my kid weighs at the airport alone with her big ass. God damn. Where, where's the point here? Uh, D- Brian. Bro, I seats? was literally three about seats? to hit Delta with oh, like D. Three seats. She has to pay for three seats. Okay. She okay. takes three seats. She pays three seats. She You're doesn't fine. pay a ticket because the ticket has you buying for that seat. But really, the aisle is what she's complaining That's about. That's what she's complaining about, D. It's just she's the complaining aisle. complaining about air, air, the airplane aisle be too skinny. Yeah. She's, the too air, she's just complaining about the aisle in the middle in between the seats. Okay. Let's back up then. If okay. that's what she's complaining about. Yeah. And she can't turn sideways? No. Nah, nigga. She was trying to turn sideways. Then she should take her ass back outside. She was trying. <laughs> you can on, tell that on. she was trying to turn hold sideways. Hold on. I got this. I'm going to recover what I've been saying this whole time. She should take herself back outside. Right. And she should walk to the car lot area where they pick up the Ubers. Uh-huh. She should jump in the back of the pickup because that's the only place she's going to fit. God damn. And then she go down to the train station. Right? Yo. And she get on the Amtrak and she can sit in one of those big ass crates, like large cargo crates. Yeah. And she can sit there by herself and she can go anywhere she wants. No discrimination. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think she could go anywhere. She can't go overseas. They go no train to the the over- she need to go on an uh, air hanger. Do you, do you know how much you, you know, get on the do you know how much fuel that plane needs for her to be in the plane that goes over the ocean? She got to do a she got to get on the wind. Can oh, we shit. pretend this girl since I only <laughs> seen a picture of the back? Can we pretend she's that other girl that was like on the podcast lately saying she's like a dime? Dog, I'll be seeing like random videos I of her now too her. like like posing and shit like uh, like thinking she bro, this shit is That shit's crazy. This world is crazy right now, man. Look, well first of <laughs> all, well, I'm not about to sit here and and shit on anybody who thinks they look good. If that's your confidence, fuck it. Bro. It's just the funniest shit where she put the video. And she was like, dudes in the club are fucking mean. I'm going to eat my fucking heart out at, what was it, like Long John or something? Nah, Jack, Jack in the, in the, the Box. She said she's going to eat her, her feelings at Jack in the Box. That was the most she fire She blamed the homeboys in the club for her, for her eating. Like, Shorty definitely looks like fucking, what's his name, Brian? Jabba the Hutt. Jabba. Bro. I told you about that. I'll find that video and I'll you send it to you. That shit was funny. There was another I one. I showed though. Alexis. I'm like, Alexis, have you seen this girl? She's like, no, I haven't. Dog, I'm like, yo, they shitting on that poor girl online. Dog, that oh, shit, gosh. Okay, so the question. United Airlines shouldn't be deemed as man. fucking discriminators against big people. Bruh, dude. No, Would that man. mean every other the, airline is a the, discriminator? Because I don't think I don't that's know. the part... All the airlines aisles are very skinny. I don't think that's the that's the discrimination part. The discrimination part is those little ass nasty ass peanuts they give you when you on the plane. Nigga, give us better snacks. That looks like dumb for the fat us, niggas. Remember when they used to give you fire shit before nine yeah. eleven? Yeah. No. Yeah, they used yeah. to give you food, bro. Yeah. Bitch, you said before nine eleven. Remember those two together? I don't remember before nine uh, eleven. I do remember. Uh, before yeah, well, Good for you. Too, yeah. They, they used to <laughs> legit give you food, and now right. ever since that, it's just like fucking. Dried up fucking fruit. Like I said, it's dumpster food. It's like they yeah. went in the dumpster and got recycled food and put it <laughs> yeah, in the bag. Yeah, for real. It's like the fucking the rations they had from Vietnam. Rations. Damn. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're not... Are we being... Disc- Let me ask you quick. Are we discriminating against her for saying that United Airlines I'm, is I'm really, I'm just really tight that that's counted as a discriminated group. Like, that's a group that you could discriminate against because well, you, know what's you cr- can change, change that. that. Yeah. Like, I can't change being 5'4". I can't change being 6'5". I can't change being black. I can't yeah. change any of those things. But you could you legit lose weight. weight. <laughs> and sure. then, like, imagine if she just shaved the good 30. That's a drop in the bucket. I, I don't know. I don't know if thirty's gonna. I don't know if thirty's <laughs> gonna do anything. But thirty she, is a drop in the bucket. Thirty, she drops at night before. I'm she not goes gonna to lie sleep to you, Brian. In that toilet, that's a pretty big backpack, but it looks very tiny on her. Dog, that backpack's small. Nah, nigga, she got the she got the North Face. She got the North Face humongous backpack, and it looked like the little little puppy backpacks on her back. She got the North Face fucking winter. <laughs> yeah. About to go to the Himalayas, <laughs> about to climb the Himalayas backpack, and it looked like a little Dora the Explorer backpack. Oh, backpack. gosh. All right, let's move on. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's go shit on her some more. <laughs> no, I was just like, okay, yeah, let's move. Sorry, it's got mean. It got mean now? It got fucking mean now? What? You ha- bunch of bitches? No, no, no. 
Okay, you with it? You gotta, she looks like a I bunch of bitches about together. I the Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade thing, but... Eh, really you heard, bro? What? She looks like a bunch of bitches put together. Yo, yo what the fuck? What's up yo, what the you? fuck? The guy, from, the guy from The Punisher? the John uh, Berthel? Ray Stevenson. No, no. That the, is... newest pu- the newer Punisher. The one... Uh, fuck. When he just passed away, that shit's crazy. Yeah, I sent it to you. <laughs> Okay. And he was only 58. Oh, that's sad. 58. That's OD, like, young. Um, let's see. Hmm. I think we kind of talked about that. Okay. Oh, Family Guy. We were, I mean, I know me and Brian did. I don't know if you knew, Delson, but uh, Seth, Seth MacFarlane uh, quit. Family no guy, shit. American Dad. Yeah, because of the writer strike, he said he he won't be doing any new episodes until that's figured out. Understood. That's yeah. different. Okay. That's, that's he said fair. he's writing with his team. That's fair. Yeah, I respect. That. That's a real one too, bro. Because yeah, he got a them. few Money. shows under him that he don't even need to Money. do anything for. Pay. They need. They he's riding he, with his. He's people. the voice on a lot of them. They that's what I'm need him more than he needs. That's them. one, yo, bro. To, for you to be able to voice who he voices, Peter. It's Brian, Brian Stewie, Stewie, literally everyone that's dog that's awesome on the show, bro. Come on, no, no, <laughs> he no, is it's... Family Guy. Like mm-hmm. seriously, yeah. actually, that's a crazy ass induendo, right? Mm-hmm. Family Guy. Mm-hmm. He's a guy who plays the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that boy cooking, cooking like puff of rice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope that so, yeah. kind of gets back. Even though I don't really watch Family Guy no more like that. I do put it on here and there. Sometimes. I throw it on. I throw it on when I go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, is that the show of, you put on? That's yeah, one. It's one. one on of them. I, throw, it's I one put on Seinfeld. Seinfeld. I've watched. Yeah, every that's night. all I hear when I fucking think of Seinfeld. <laughs> the fucking. Bitch. Uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. I don't really have anything else. I had never, Honda and Kia. I Morgan's. never heard my boy Frank like Seinfeld before in my life, and then my boy. One day to the next, just started liking these white ass shows. I, I started, why. you know why I started watching Seinfeld? What a peculiar coinky. <laughs> I don't know why. No, let me tell y'all. I'm going to tell you why. All because right. I used to be so against The Office. Mm. Like, I used to, everybody used to always be like, funny, funny. I'm like, ah, that shit look whack. Mm. I'm not trying to watch that. Whack, whack, whack. Mm. Finally watched it. Obviously, you guys know mm. that's like top three shows for me ever. And now I'm like, well, you know what? Let me go give a try to other shit that I used to turn down. And I mm-hmm. started watching side film, and I like it for the most part. It's very clean. I will say that. Yeah, that's why. That's it's a the very clean uh, show. It's old. That's why. Yeah, uh, but bleep, it's not bleep, bad. Bleep, 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 bleep. That's bleep, funny. Bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like every time they go to get into the episode. Yeah, <laughs> and he's always starting off standing up with some stand up. Um. But yeah. That's right. Anything else you guys wanted to add? Uh, not at the moment. <sighs> that was hot. That was okay. The, the, you bring you. You know what? You're closing the episode with some real good 32 year old man energy. Yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> this is the last time I'll be recording a pod at 31. At so 31, rest so in peace to that. If any of the Diolo ladies pop. listening, make my boys 32 year day special. Blow that's that little candle out, boy. <laughs> That is. <laughs> Blow his little candle out of it. Yo. How? All right, bro. Sign What's us up? out. I'm out. Okay. You guys motherfucking stay classy out there, yo. You have nice people, you. Wow. <laughs>